Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to power systems engineering. In the previous video, we discussed about the basic uh, layout, the basic power supply scheme related to AC power supply uh, and the single line diagram and everything, the different elements that are involved in it, different components. So that was basically the AC transmission system. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another important uh, concept related to transmission system, which is the high voltage DC, HVDC transmission system. So we know that the basic power supply system, it consists of three main elements, the generation part where the power is generated at the power plant, the power station. Then the transmission part in the AC, it was divided into two parts, subdivided, primary and secondary. Then distribution, again divided into two parts, primary and secondary. So as I said, the generation happens in the power station. Then the transmission takes place through a network of conductors or cables, uh, generally the overhead type. It is again uh, divided into two parts, overhead and underground, but basically we discuss the overhead part using three phase system, three phase, three wire or three phase, four wire system, depending upon what type of uh, configuration is used, star or delta. So that is the transmission lines and then the distribution system. Again, primary and secondary distribution, depending upon how uh, the magnitude of the voltage which is required and depending upon that, uh, the step up and step down transformers were used at different points. So when it comes to the transmission portion, you know, there are two types of supply and transmission system. First, the alternating current, the AC type and then the direct current or DC type. So we all know that alternating current is one which varies in magnitude and changes its direction periodically with respect to time. It can be represented with the help of a sinusoidal equation. We have discussed about it. Direct current is one which is of constant magnitude and does not change with respect to time. So taking into account these two uh, types of current, the transmission system, the electrical transmission system, it is classified into two types, HVAC high voltage alternating current transmission system and HVDC high voltage direct current transmission system. So the previous video which we discussed the AC power supply scheme that was <clears throat> in that the transmission was in the form of AC high voltage AC. So in this video we will be discussing about the uh, DC part. So the generation will be in the form of AC at the power station. So somewhere in between the AC has to be converted into DC. So for that different uh, electrical and electronic equipments, power electronic components have to be used. So we'll discuss that. So power transmission system HVAC and HVDC. This was the AC transmission system which we discussed the AC power supply scheme. So the high voltage alternating current here the supply voltage of the transmission system it ranges from 33 kilo volt AC to 230 kilo volt AC the high voltage alternating current transmission and depending upon requirement step up and step down transformers are used at different points step up transformers are used to increase the voltage step down transformer is used to decrease the voltage at particular points in the transmission and distribution network and as I said, it requires at least three line conductors for the three phase and depending upon the configuration, three or four conductors can be used, three phase, three wire, three phase, four wire, Dep depending upon what type of configuration is used, star or delta. 
and uh, this HVAC voltage transformation it is simple and less costly but the HVDC transmission system this is the high voltage direct current system so we will do a comparison between AC versus DC uh, transmission systems to evaluate the merits and demerits of AC and DC trans each of these methods has its own advantages and disadvantages but in certain situations for specific applications certain transmission systems are good you know so if we measure the merits against the demerits if the merits uh, are more you know it more inclines towards the ad advantageous side so that particular method is used so nothing is free of faults you know everything has its merits and demerits but depending upon requirement operational requirements particular methods are used so this is the high voltage direct current hvdc transmission system here in this kind of transmission system power is transmitted in the form of dc at a voltage between 100 kilovolt to 800 kilovolt and uh, here the electrical power which is produced as i said generated in the form of ac is converted into dc with the help of rectifiers and transmitted through high voltage direct current lines and here instead of three only two conductors or two lines are used again we'll discuss about the different configurations for now you understand number of con conductors uh, required for dc transmission is two generally and then uh, <coughs> transmission is in the form of dc and then when it comes to the distribution portion again different kinds of uh, transformers step up step down and dc to ac converters can be used to convert it back into ac at the required voltage level depending upon the operational requirement so the basic element of the hvdc transmission system they are first the generating station where the uh, ac power is produced then we have a step up transformer a rectifier thyrotron and step down transformer this is the uh, single line diagram of a hvdc transmission scheme so we have the generating station here the uh, electric power is generated then here it is stepped up increased to a higher voltage ac voltage then we have the rectifier basically a mercury arc rectifier is used which converts the ac into dc and this constitutes the dc transmission the electric power is transmitted in the form of dc not in the form of ac dc mercury arc rectifier converts the stepped up ac into dc and then we have the uh, thyrotron which converts the high magnitude DC voltage into AC okay and then at the receiving side again we have a step down transformer which decreases the uh, converted AC voltage and then it is fed to different points at different voltage levels according to the operational requirement a very simple circuit very simple you know block diagram so we have step up and step down transformers one at the sending side one at the receiving side both are ac transformers ac three phase transformers step up increases the ac voltage step down decreases the ac voltage rectifier converts high voltage ac into high voltage dc transmission happens in high voltage dc thyrotron converts the dc into ac and this ac step down to different levels is fed to different uh, places households industrial sectors depending upon the operational requirement so this is the high voltage dc transmission system okay so this is the thing.